What's going on guys and welcome to today's video. You guys have been absolutely smashing that like button recently. So many comments on the latest uploads. I've had a lot of requests to react to Crater Lake in America, so that is exactly what we're going to do in today's video. I hope you enjoy, leave a like if you did, subscribe for more content like this. Let's get to it. Toasty! So today's video we're watching an upload by Go Traveller. It'll be linked down below if you would like to watch it without my commentary. I'll try not to pause it too much, but yeah. Let's let's see what this is all about. Let's put it in full screen for everyone. Getting wet and wild can lead you to the spectacular and to the strange, but nowhere like Crater Lake National Park, about okay, three hours southeast Oregon. of Eugene, Oregon. 100 miles from the Pacific coast, the lake is one of the strangest attractions of any I'm expecting this anywhere. to be really interesting. So many people have asked for this. Fresh water. And no matter which way you turn, you can't believe a planet could look this incredible. As far as I know, it's a volcanic crater. It's been said the water is so intensely blue, it looks like ink. Oh, it is, it is incredibly blue. Wow. Okay. The reality is that all the water is from rain and snow melt. No rivers feed it, so it's crystal clear. Oh, that's awesome. Four and a half cubic miles of it. So it just snows, then the snow Jersey, melts and refills it. That's just a Crater massive Lake bowl. Sits in a volcanic caldera six miles wide and over a quarter mile down. A volcanic mountain collapsed here around 7,700 years ago. Rain and natural springs filled it in and now add water at the same rate it evaporates. Oh, that's cool. It looks very steep. Uh, the bowl. Is there lots of places you can sort of sit around it? Be from the 33 mile crater rim drive. The crater rim drive. Sounds excellent. There are 50 turnouts along the way to take in the 285 square miles cold mountain weirdness. There's room for 140 miles of trails out here as well. They feature bizarre rock formations, scenic outlooks, it's and very jagged. critters suitable for photographs. The most likely trail you'll take leads down to the dock. A uh, nice zigzag trail. It's a little place called Cleetwood Cove. Here by the water's edge, there's a couple of ways to personally get wet and wild. Bit of cliff jumping, First, nice. There's the direct approach. Ah, the water looks this unbelievable. This is done in the summer when the water gets into the 50s. Otherwise, you go into shock. Then there is the immersive approach. After a quick scuba class, you can find... Oh, I'd love to see that. I bet that looks unreal. The, the those crystal clear waters and scuba diving in a in a volcano like that that must be absolutely awesome to experience. And yourself hovering over what feels like a bottomless pit. On a clear day, you it's can not see frozen in like eighty years. Straight down. With forty-four feet of annual snowfall, there's always plenty of fresh water melting into the crater. Finally, you can let the whole park just swallow you up on a journey across the vast lake through a realm that's See, there's an, like an island. Surreal. It's an island in the middle of it. Cliffs rise 2,000 feet above the water, and you can see the entire lake from almost anywhere. Rounding the lake's edge, you pass by the phantom ship. That is, um, so, so you can walk around the entire length. Or the entire circumference of this lake and you can just see the whole thing from everywhere. I don't think there's anything quite like that in the UK. I, I mean, there will, there, I, I think there is lakes that you can, you can see the whole body of it from multiple places, but nothing quite as unique as this. Especially not as blue as this. Yeah. It's a volcanic feature that pokes up above the surface <laughs> to creep you out. Another ghostly figure is the old man of the lake. What? It's a dead hemlock that's been floating upright for the past 100 years. The cold water stops it from rotting away. 
I don't know what a hemlock is. One second. Twelve seconds later. Uh, no, I couldn't find out what a hemlock was. Uh, the closest thing I could see was a, a poisonous tree. If does anyone know what a hemlock is, it, it certainly didn't look like a poisonous tree. <laughs> Lake's next trick: visit Wizard Island, so named because somebody under its spell thought it looked like a sorcerer's hat. Wizard Island. Whatever. I like it. This island is actually a volcanic cone that bubbled up from the lake bottom and broke the surface some 800 years ago. They figure this from the age of the trees. Wizard Island covers a square wow. mile of lake surface, about seven Disneyland. Just a little squirrel chilling on Wizard Island. Seven foot tall island has a mini crater of its own. <laughs> That's awesome. Can you get up there? It's a mile hike to the top. Oh, okay. Plenty of wildflowers and tall pines along the way. Of course, the boat ride back to the rim is fantastic. That is, if you bother to take the boat. Show off. Passing the time at Crater nice. Lake is an experience that stays with you forever. It looks so at steep. The, of the day, you'll be glad you discovered this unique natural wonder. Is there is there lots lots of locations that you can just sort of get down on your own, or is there only like one or two entrances down to the lake, and then you've got to, I guess travel via boat. It does look really steep, uh, pretty much all the way around it. I'm guessing there's a walk all the way around this, though. There must uh, uh, there must be some sort of trail that you can do, like a full loop of the lake. That would be brilliant to do. Don't chicken out. Try a dive or snorkel over a thousand feet of the world's clearest water. Like a spacewalk, it's a high you'll find nowhere else. Yeah, create a lake. What an amazing place. I, I didn't realise just how much of an actual bowl it is. Um, I'd, I'd seen off, off Google that it, it was a volcanic crater. I didn't realise just how sort of symmetrically what it is all the way around. Uh, I've, I've just looked at a picture for, of, a da of a diver down in Crater Lake. I was just interested to see what the, what the water looked like from down there and it looks absolutely unreal. Um, yeah, thank you for the suggestion in the comments. It's uh, been great to see and learn a little bit, a bit about Crater Lake, so if you've got any more, I know there is lots more already recommended to me um, by you lovely Americans in the comments section. Uh, yeah, keep it up and thank you very much for the, thank you very much for watching and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks very much guys.